Anderson with your weekly health and wellness reminder. Guys and girls, remember to karate chop germs in this cold and flu season by washing your hands whenever you can, Zip! applying hand sanitizer whenever possible, and covering your mouth and nose when you sneeze. Exercising makes, lets you do better in school. Being healthy helps you feel better and work harder. Um, I learned that if you call 911, it's important to uh, stay on the line with the 911 person and make sure that the person that is in the emergency situation is cared for until um, first aid people can get on the scene. It helps me realize that if someone's in trouble, you can get a teacher. International Dictionary. Why did you? Yes. Why did you pick something that you could pick up? Here, get me something that's like smaller. All right. So particular. Do you need help again? Ow. Okay. Here. The Encyclopedia of Mammals. Just find something else that you could. <laughs> Just find something else that you can pick up. Ow. You need help with that too? Maybe. Okay. The World Book Research Guide Index 22. Can you pick up something that you can put in your mouth? So picky. The Lorax? Oh yeah. Well, at least you can pick them up. Here, hold this for me, will you? The heavy is an anvil. Okay, so this is about an ice cream maker who makes ice cream out of evil socks. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, that's racist. No, that it's is not racist. Socks that talk. Not about all them. socks are evil. Look at you. Well, you are. Stereotyping is for the small-minded. I thought you were better than this. <laughs> okay, then. So, and then, mix them out of old socks that talk to lonely people. <laughs> you just called yourself lonely. <laughs> You're the talking sock I fan I'm creating. <laughs> Hey, I'm a figment of your imagination, not the other way around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. I could un I could uncreate you at a moment's notice. Anywho, this is about a very interesting little animal who makes socks into ice cream, and then nobody likes him, so they kick him out. And then at the end, he leaves this pile of rocks that says, unless, 
nobody's really sure what that means. I mean, seriously. That's and all the, all the Lorax left here in this mess was a small pot of rocks with one word, unless. Whatever that meant, well, I just couldn't guess. Like, unless. That's seriously. Too much philosophical stuff. I mean, like, uh, I'm not gonna think about my existence. I mean, oh god. <laughs> You're thinking of my imagination, which is a talking sock that doesn't actually exist. You don't have one. Okay, the Lorax. Interesting by Dr. Seuss. It rhymes, I think. Oh, there's a little so sticker on the front that says Earth Friendly. Oh, printed on recycled paper. That's cool. Okay, the Lorax. And I'll go try to create another. You said okay way too many times. Well, that's your problem. You're the one that stuck with me here while I talk about books to nobody I'm who's even listening. I'm ignoring you and eating strawberry yogurt. <laughs> Dude, I uncreate you. No, you're old. Now I'm gonna go back to my reading. What are you still doing here? <laughs>